Hey guys, it's official Samsung Galaxy S24 Fan Edition marketing posters are out. So yes, the leaks were right about the design. This time it's more premium resembling the more expensive S24 series. With the refreshed design, we've got some confirmed specs and surprises. Let's take a look. Design wise, you might have already seen this and yes, it's how the S24 FE final design is going to look. Similar to the flagship S24, it's interesting because for a lower price, we will get the feeling of flagship S24. The price will be even more surprising, we will come to that. But before that, let's talk about the main specs. So this time the S24 FE will have a larger screen size increasing to 6.7 inches from current S23 FE 6.4 inch. Let me know your thoughts on larger screen size these days, every phone seems to be getting bigger. I think a 6.1 or 6.4 inch size is perfect. The S23 FE has an ideal size, a 6.7 inch screen may be too large but there are advantages to having a larger device such as better battery life and a more enjoyable content viewing experience. The S24 FE looks more premium because the bezels are thinner. In the marketing material, you can see the bezel size is 1.9mm but the bezels are still not symmetrical. The bottom bezels is a little larger than the rest. Anyway, it looks great compared to the S23 FE. The S24 FE will have a peak brightness of 1900 nits, so there will be no problems outdoors. And of course, the 120Hz reverse rate will still be there. So with the larger screen size, S24 FE is going to come with larger 4700mAh battery instead of 4500mAh on the S23 FE. Great for a larger phone because of the optimized software and the chipset with the 4700mAh battery, we will get better battery performance. Next, the S24 FE is still expected to come with an Exynos processor but this time the performance will be better than last year. The recently launched Galaxy flagship S24 and S24 Plus already features the Exynos 2400 chipset which performs well and is not far behind the Snapdragon. There are rumors suggesting that there will be two variants similar to last year's S23 FE, one with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and despite some reports that the Exynos 2400 on the S24 FE is underclocked. A recently leaked Geekbench score shows that there is no drastic difference compared to the more flexible S24. So performance wise whether it's Exynos or Snapdragon, the S24 FE will likely to be optimized version compared to the S23 FE. We can expect both Exynos and Snapdragon variants to perform well as we have already seen from the Geekbench scores. In this chart, we can see other features as well such as Android 14, the S24 FE is likely to come with Android 14 pre-installed running One UI 6.1 and will most likely be promised 4 years of OS updates and 5 years of security updates. Maybe we might get to see 7 years of security updates. You can also expect all the Galaxy AI features on this device, currently it's more like an AI era. Every phone is coming with AI, at the moment Samsung and Google are leading in this area so it's a nice thing to see AI features in its more lower price device. Next, the cameras are already great in the Galaxy S23 FE. According to several reputable leaks, the S24 FE's camera specifications are said to be same but definitely improvements will be there. Currently, S23 FE has 15MP main lens, an 8MP 3x telephoto and a 12MP ultra wide. There will definitely be better processing due to the more powerful and optimized processor. So, even though the specs are same, there will be even better quality in photos and videos compared to the S23 FE. Next, S24 FE will still come with 8GB of RAM and goes up to 12GB of RAM. That's a huge amount for a FE series, upgraded fast UFS storage is also rumored. Right now, S23 FE has UFS 3.1, we can expect UFS 3.1 for 128GB of storage and UFS 4 for 256GB of storage. Fast storage is important for AI tasks. These are the main things about the upcoming Galaxy S24 FE. Seems better phone this time, so how much might this device cost? So according to rumors, $599 in the US or 60,000 rupees in India. But new leaks are suggesting that it might cost around $700. $700 is definitely overpriced. Galaxy FE series is always been a confusion when it comes to price. Anyway, looking at all the expected specs, seems like a great phone. If they keep the pricing right, it's gonna be awesome. Let's see what Samsung comes up with the pricing. S24 FE will compete against the Pixel 8a and upcoming OnePlus 13R. OnePlus 13R will also be a banger, you can check that out on my channel. There are even more options but these are the main models to compete with according to price. It will be interesting to see how these phones will compete against each other. Let me show you the roundout of the main upgrades of the S24 FE once again. 
more premium design, better processor, better cameras, fast storage, and AI features. So this is it everything about the Galaxy S24 FE. FE has always been a great phone but the price it came with makes the buyers more confused because it lacked performance for the price and also the design. Let's see how S24 FE will perform in the market. It is expected to release around October so this is it for now. Peace out.